There. That's it. That's him. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, benvenue. Buenos noches, buenos tacos. I'm here to give you another contrib of my thoughts. I'm here to tell you real life again. Like I said, Mr. Warmack again is always in the building, and presently he still is in the building. So I'm going to get to the song and I'm going to get this cracking. So let's go in. Today I'm going to talk about how the default was averted. And let's put it realistically, the default was averted because of November 7th, which was election day. I think it was the 7th. I, I went to vote. I might have that video up already. If I don't, you'll get to see it. Uh, how the ending of the shutdown was averted. For The, the shutdown ended. The, we didn't default on anything. You know, our bond rating is still below what it used to be, but it's still good. Uh, but the only reason the deal was made was because the GOP had to make a deal, unfortunately for them. The GOP had to make a deal. Like the Tea Party, you these, these wackos in the Tea Party have made it so un unbearable to do a deal in Congress that the GOP just was like, you know, fuck it, do something. You know, and, and, and there, have, there were polls out that like, Obama, yes, will get some of the blame. But the people who are going to bear the most burden, as the polls showed, and as I predicted, that what happened was the GOP. The GOP took some hits. And the Democrats didn't have to do nothing, which if they would have imagined how more, much more hits the GOP would have taken. You know, the GOP, was, was, they were looking at less numbers now. You know, they're looking to take, you know... That they, you know, the compromise was right. They're, they're looking at, they're, that's their take on it. They're saying now it was the right thing to do. Of course it was the right thing to do. If you're losing seats, to get to see, how are you going to get the trust of the voters? Well, we compromise with the Democrats to do this, to do that, to this. Now, in, in their minds, they may be thinking they lost, but in reality, they won because, which they, I mean, they did lose, but in the reality, they won because they, they silenced the Tea Party to a minimum. But not that they're going to, but they got to get these wackos in check. These, these wackos, like, and, and let me say something about the Tea Party. I have people that, like, this one guy, and I don't mean to hurt his feelings, but I'm saying what I feel. He told me he unsubscribed me because I said that made the comment the Tea Party was racist. If you look at the overall message of the Tea Party from when it began, and not, and not so much now because they, they got better at it, the Tea Party used hidden and coded words. Like, if you if you don't believe me, look at some of the stuff. When they were talking about Barack Obama, they were using them old coded words back from, like, the 40s and 50s that your grandma, like, if you were a black person that was really in tune, that your grandmother and your parents taught you the code words that they were using, and the Tea Party uses code words. They were using code words. Now, this, this fascination with Ted Cruz is, you know, but listen, let me put it to you this way. Ted Cruz can't run for president. Because Ted Cruz was born in Canada. So you're hitching your wagon on the wrong horse on that one. And let me tell you something. If you're trying to get him get him elected as a president and trying to change that amendment or whatever, guess who's in the, waiting in the wings? Arnold's waiting in the wings. So either way, it ain't going to be Ted Cruz. Now, back to the lecture at hand. The shutdown was averted, you know, because the Tea Party is ruining things for, you know, the GOP. So the GOP made the deal. Now, the GOP may seem soft, but if you look at the, what they had to do, they're just trying to hold as many seats as they can But the Tea Party crashing the party. Now, this is going to be a long, hard-fought road for next year's elections because we still have the we still have a default coming up. But they didn't they didn't make a they made a deal as far as delaying it. They didn't make a deal as far as you know it being done and over with. You know, the Democrats realistically, if they were smart, all they have to do like they do now, they have to sit back and chill out. But at the same time, they got to defend these wackos from the Tea Party, and I just I paint them as a wacko. That's what I would do. I would say they're unrealistic, which a lot of them are unrealistic. You know, remember the Tea Party? Remember the Texas? Remember those wackos down there? They want to secede from the Union. And that that didn't sound crazy to you? Remember they were really serious in talking about that? That was that ain't that ain't wacko shit to you. Now, you may feel you want to do it, but at the end of the day, you think America's going to let Texas succeed? Texas lead the union? 
Hell, I'd rather let fucking West Virginia or Idaho lead the union. But no, not Idaho. They got Boise. Shout out to Boise. How about North Dakota? But uh, the deal was struck just in time for election, folks. No other reason. So I'm out of here. Peace. That's it. That's him.